As a graphic designer, I'm always battling with the idea of being an artist versus being a designer. And I used to think that those two disciplines were mutually exclusive, but I could not have been more wrong. I think this delusion of art and design being two entirely different disciplines was hammered into me during my time at university schooling system. Going to school for a graphic design degree, it seems that they want to breed just one type of designer. The studio agency, problem solver, graphic designer archetype. And don't get me wrong, a few of the professors did teach me a lot, but I could not escape this idea of graphic design and art being two entirely different disciplines. And that frustrated me. It almost seems like the design world divides art and design into two separate buckets that are almost antithetical of each other. Art is for yourself and for the passion and something you create from you. And design is something you create for others and you're solving others people's problems and it's not a way for you to express yourself but for you to express the ideas of a client. Art is for yourself, design is for others. And yeah, while I do think there is a time and a place for that kind of thinking, I strongly believe it's a lot more complicated than that. Design and art are such nuanced topics. I don't think they should ever be diluted to something so black and white. Like many things in our society, I think being an artist and a designer is on a spectrum. Maybe there aren't many fine artists out there in the world who would consider themselves designers, but I for sure know a lot of designers out there who would consider themselves artists. And on the other hand, I know a lot of designers who are almost ashamed of the artist tag and no way would want to be associated with that fine art world. And, you know, that comes down to, I think, things with tech and being this problem solver and feeling like you're more of a kind of craftsman rather than an artist. I think the reason this topic has been on my mind so much lately is I can't really pinpoint where I fall on this spectrum. And yeah, maybe that's fine, but... It doesn't really help with that feeling of uneasiness. And like I said, the schooling system tried to groom me into being this MacBook Pro elitist, problem solver, dribble using typographic designer who had no place for the fine art world or no place for creativity outside of solving problems for the client. That schooling system did kind of work on me. I can even think back on being bummed out by something as stupid as a family member calling me like a graphic artist or he's an artist, I'd be like in my head, no, I'm a designer, I'm a graphic designer. Like it's a different thing. And it's almost embarrassing to look back on like caring about just semantics like that. And I truly think that being worried about what you're called and titles come from some kind of insecurity or imposter syndrome about you yourself not truly knowing what you are. Like maybe I was so wrapped up in this identity of wanting to be called a designer because I didn't even feel like I was recognized as one yet. And kind of as you become more creative and get better at something and branch out into different niches and fields, like whatever, you're an artist, a creative, a designer, like call me whatever at this point, as long as I'm proud of the work I'm producing, you know? And you know, maybe not wanting to be called an artist was out of some kind of insecurity of not wanting to show people my own self-expression. If the stuff you're producing is just for a client, all those thoughts and ideas and vulnerability and whatever, it's not your stuff. If it's good, cool. You did a good job for the client. If it's bad, hey, that was their vision. I was just executing it. You don't have to feel that vulnerability or sense of ownership for better or for worse. But then on the other hand, if you're not subscribing to this idea of being an artist, you don't get to feel that vulnerability. You don't get to take that ownership and truly connect with other people through like expression and, and art and your own voice. When someone doesn't like something that I produce or says hurtful things about something that I created, I can no longer use the client as a scapegoat. Like I was saying, these days I could probably care less about what people call me. And I think titles really just come down to us wanting self-validation. And that's okay because as we grow and become more confident in our craft, that will start to fade. And I think we'll all be a little bit more comfortable. And I get it. I get it. 
I always loved the identity of being a designer. I wanted to be known for that, and I love just feeling like a part of that community. However, I don't rely on it too much anymore as a main motivating factor or validation in myself or my personality or just how people perceive me, really. And I think as I've grown as a creative and as an individual, I'm starting to lean more and more towards the artist side of the spectrum. Most of what I do, I would consider graphic design, but I don't want all the projects and all my work to be just for others and just for clients. And I want my own personality and passion and voice to shine through and not just be a cog in this machine that benefits a greater capitalist system and just benefits consumers and not the art world or nothing for myself. I want to be a designer, yes, but I also want to be treated more like an artist. I want to be approached for my voice and my aesthetic and what I have to bring to this project or what I can say in the given parameters rather than be someone who's just good with tools and a pair of hands and just executes on an already fully thought out vision. I want to contribute more. I think that's why we're seeing so many more of these kind of artist designers these days. People who are approached by a brand or a company or whatever to, yeah, design stuff and add their own voice, but it's almost more of like a collaboration. On the opposite side, we have all this stuff out here that never credits designers. I think this artist designer archetype almost, it's the opposite. They want to credit you because they want you to be associated with it, you know, like Sony X Jesse Nyberg rather than, hey, I designed this thing for Sony. And I think what makes up this artist designer archetype is someone who can fully execute on the project and give the client what they need, but still allow their voice to shine through and add something new to the project. And there's a ton of these artist designer people out there. Some of the people that come to mind first is like the, the late Virgil Abloh or Daniel Arsham or Aaron Draplin, people that are collaborating with brands but are more integrated into the entire thing rather than just being someone that gets hired. That being said, we can't all be this sensitive artist designer type and there's real shit that has to be done. So we need all the designers who are just gonna execute on the projects and not complain and do all the actual gritty work. Wherever you wanna align in this design world, that's what's cool about it is you have so many options. There are pros and cons to both ideas here. Whether you can completely disconnect from the work or you're too passionate that it starts to affect your outside life. That's what's nice about this spectrum though. There's no right or wrong way to do it, just personal preference. I hope you're all doing well in your journey of art and design. And wherever you land on this artist designer spectrum, I'd love to hear more about it in the comments. And hopefully at the very least, it's a place that brings you the most fulfillment.